welcome to Lisa Mormon Art. Fun things happening today. First of all, I got golden light phthalo green. Come on, oh, okay. Um, by the way, because you can't see it because of my lights, it's like my perfect mint green and I've never seen it in the fluid form before. Uh, so, which is fine using thick tubes, you just have to be more careful. Uh, to make it not too thick. We're using this today. Let's look at it in all mixed up. Hmm, don't you wish you could see what this looks like? Okay, hold on. Like, relax, there you go, look at that. Right? Okay, that's the theme. Another theme, what I haven't done in a while is a round and then blown around in a circle Okay, and make a circular bloom. Things I don't like about the circular bloom is centrifuge, which we've talked about many times, because for me, you know how wonky things trigger me. Just a personal thing. Other people really like it. Um, but when you do this, and then you spin, it like bleh, and then the middle, you're just left with the middle. So there's a few tricks we're gonna try to do. Number three, I'm doing it on a 16 incher circle. I'm gonna mouth blow it. <clears throat> Number four, we're going back to my wheelhouse of color, which I realized, funnily enough, is phthalos and cool purples and blues and greens, okay? Let's discuss colors off of the mint phthalo green. We're gonna start, you know, Phthalo blue, right? She's always here to play. Now, what I love on top of these colors is TLP Glisten. You can't see it in here. It's an interference and it's like a turquoisey, greeny turquoise, always nice. Then we'll have the Phthalo green. Then we'll have TLP Aspen, just like a nice, cool green. We like her. This is an old color I mixed up. I'm gonna guess it's just Dioc. Purple and white, okay. It is a little warm, but I don't mind. And of course we have Agapanthus, TLP, the cool purple. And I'm gonna to top it off. I think this color is an Amsterdam grayish, like that gray color. Now, now have to be careful because these those three tubies are all opaque, okay? So I've got to be careful with how I layer them, how I blow. I think we're gonna do white cell activator. Let's see. Yes. Do you know how I test? Because sometimes I don't know what's what. Cell activator shouldn't smell like anything. Floetrol smells kind of like sweet a little bit. And obviously your pore medium smells Toxic. Don't yell at me and tell me I'm gonna get brain damage, I know. Okay, it's fine, it's a little thick. Hmm. I'm gonna thin it a little bit. Now, let's talk about pillow paint. By the way, I got my hair cut yesterday. I don't know if you noticed. Um, still quite there. <laughs> he asked me, because I was wearing my painting boots, because why not? He said, oh my God, where did you get your boots? I love them. And I told him they were a studio special. All he had to do is come over and then he can get a pair like that too if he stands in the way. Okay, mixy mix. That, cool. All right, now I was gonna go white pillow. Then I remember I had this, you're probably not gonna see it. Uh, Sherwin Williams Wishful Blue. It is not, it's like a, there's a tint, like almost like a purpley grayish, tint to it okay whatever i think it will go now i am it's straight from the can i am these light ones are quite thick so what i've been doing i just got a yucky out i've been adding some water to them uh which has been working fine especially for there's so many yucky things in there um i'm just going to Sorry, I'm like fishing. All right, I'm gonna take some water. Just let I have my cup. And I'm just going, here, why don't I show you? You don't wanna put more than 10%, but I'm just going like this. Okay. 
Here, let's mix it up. Gentle. And you do want to mix it for a bit because the bottom of the can never can never gets thin as it as, as it's needed. So this will take it to two seconds. Okay, so the plan is we're gonna do oh so the next plan to make this work. I hope I didn't put too much water in. <laughs> the next plan to make this work is I'm going to really spin out the pillow paint so it's not thick on the thing so I don't have to spin it too much okay because spinning too much is what makes it wonky but it's a fine line because if you don't have enough pillow paint um then you can't blow out properly so you know I'm still mixing I'm incorporating it's going well uh but it's just hard to mix the little thing I guess I could have poured it out but what's the point of dirtying something else, right? So you'll just have to bear with me. All right, she's mixing in nice. I'm just gonna get from the bottom, bring it to the top like this, bottom to top. Uh, oh, I'm just gonna take off my jewels to paint. So while you're seeing this, I don't know why you're seeing this, um, actually probably not. Next week, I'm going to California for two weeks. And we're doing another road trip. We're going to San Francisco to see my sister and we're driving down to San Diego. We're very excited. It's one of our favorite trips to do. Okay, she's incorporated. Finally, it took a while, but I just wanted to make sure that the bottom gets what she needs. All right, enough chit-chatting. Let's get to work. All right, here we go. I do really like this color. <clears throat> it's very slight. And we are gonna see a lot of it right in the middle, so I thought it would be good. One last little mix. Okay. Ready? So. Yeah watching for little yuckies. Because remember, I don't want a thick thing. I'm gonna put more, but um, let me just spread this with my hand a little bit. We're gonna spin her. I really, after I blow, only wanna spin a few, oh, I feel something here, a few times. Um, so it doesn't get too stretched out and wonky. Okay, I did pretty good. So I'm gonna spin her and then do my thing again. Or should I tilt? Maybe I should tilt. I'm gonna tilt, oopsie, I'm gonna tilt her. I don't want all the good stuff coming off. And then I can also see where the yuckies are when I do this. All right, so we've got a good coating on her, okay? Now, Tio, I'm going to get my skewer, which I saw somewhere, or just my fingers. Okay. <clears throat> Good, 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 good. Okay, first layer. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, great. <clears throat> now, she's down. I'm going to put a circle because I'm not making a big circle. I'm just kind of doing like that, okay? If you could see. We're gonna go like that because she is gonna spin and stretch out and I'm just guessing because I don't think I've done this before like this. So we're just guesstimating at this point. Just wiping my hands so I don't drip everywhere. All right, so let's start with our circle. Okay, we have the phthalo turquoise. All right. 
I don't need too much of the failure. Um, or do I? No. But I do, hmm, I'm gonna do a little bit more. <laughs> I'm just debating because I do want it filled with color on the edges, you know what I mean? So, and I, and because it's so thin, I'm gonna fill it with color. Okay, so we have the phthalo. Now we have the gorgeous shimmer, which you'll see shortly. I'm gonna put a good amount. Okay, nice. Then I might as well move these paints out of the way for when I spin. Hold, please. I'm running out of so much room up here because of my um, Dutchy paints are up here, you know. Okay, next we have the Thalo Green, which has already thickened. I am gonna thin her out because I don't need any problems. Just gave her a little squirt of Josanya. All right. Yeah, this is a good amount of color. Now remember, these are opaque, so I'm not gonna go super crazy with them. Okay, and then we have the TLP Aspen, which is also thickened up, but I don't mind it thickened as much. Uh, piggies. Okay. Now, we will do the custom purple I made. Again, actually, I probably mix it with a zinc, so it's not opaque, but still, let's not go crazy. You know, just little dots here and there. Okay. Then, we have Aga. I'm just popping some boob lines. Huh? This is becoming one of my top colors for sure, Agapanthus. Okay, do a little bit more, why not, right? And then we have this Amsterdam grayish, whatever it's called. I'm also not gonna do a lot of that because it's opaque. I'm just gonna like, you know, drizzle it like that. Okay, I have no idea what's gonna happen, guys, but we're gonna make it work. Now, I'm gonna grab a skewer before we do anything, you know? All right, so this one's bugging me, whatever that is, okay, and I think I'm ready to blow. So, you know I don't need cell coverage everywhere. I don't need this all to be cells. I do like places where I blow, where there's no cells. I think it gives it like a nice um, variety, you know? But I'm gonna start with a little section. <sighs> Pray for me that I don't pass out. Are you ready for this? Okay. Oh, that's a lot of cell activator. Ready? I put a lot there, so I'm just breaking it up. But okay, let's keep going. <laughs> We're doing good. Okay. Alrighty. 
feeling it, feeling it. That's a lot of sound activator again. All right. I'm really using my aim and pressure of breath. to get where I want to be. All right, we got one more blow here and I might fix something there. So far, I'm liking her, the colors are nice. Okay. People are gonna ask me, why don't you use a straw? Because it doesn't give you the nice petal shapes that I'm looking for and the exact control that I'm looking for. Only your mouth can be as precise as you want it to be. This is pretty so far. Um, I might just do a little one here because there's only one little chunk that didn't get anything. Now we have to see, of course, how she spins out because that is the main thing. But so far, um, it's pretty. Now she's a little off center, which is going to bother me, of course. So I'm going to start spinning slowly, maybe, and see how she goes. Okay. I am going to skewer her, but I just want to wait um, until we know what's going on here. Okay. So, there's a little edge that's caught there. We don't want her to get stuck. There you go. All right. Yes. Hold on, buble or something. What is that? This could be a yuckies. Uh oh, see, I'm dripping paint. All right, got that yuckies out. Uh, so far, we are going well, I think. It's not going to be perfectly centered, obviously, uh, but kind of, okay. I'm going to call this a bloom halo, all right? Tell your friends. <laughs> bloom halo. Okay. Oh, there's a little yucky right here. All right, now let's see. I have to see how much more we have to spin. Not much. So now I can start thinking if I want to skewer her a little bit or not. Okay. Um, I don't mind. Let me see the sparkles. Her shape, but it might be interesting. Now, first, I am going to take off my these gloves because I don't want to drip and then, um, okay. So now for, uh, what is this called? When you have a composition uh, purposes, I when I look at a piece, I look at what draws my eye the most. If there's like an eyesore that I need to fix, okay? You know what? There's not actually, surprisingly, much of an eyesore. It's pretty flowy. Um, I almost don't want to touch it too much. You know what I mean? Like it's pretty natural. I think, mm, I don't know. 
this is where I so wish you guys were here. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's, it's okay. I'm just getting some bubbles while we discuss. Um, let's see. Bloom Halo. I don't know. Should I leave it the way it is? Um, you guys, I don't know what to do. I wish you could tell me. I'm just kind of like making little things, but it's not really doing anything. Um, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna spin one, I'm gonna put on new gloves. I'm gonna spin one more time. I don't think I'm going to skewer her. I hope you guys agree with that decision because I don't, there's nothing that's out of place for me. And that's the only time really I skewer is if there's something out of place or that I don't want. Um, so let's spin her again. Okay, Bloom Halo. I think we did okay. I like the amount of paint I put down. Um, right? I, th yeah, like, oh, there's a little yucky here. Okay. Um, I think, I think, I think she's done. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, please let me know what you think. Did I do the right thing by not fixing anything? I'm gonna do a close up and I love you guys a lot. Bye.